Number three, Aiden McConnell. Number six, Matty Ishog. Number nine, Liv Curry. Number 13, Natalie Vigiano. Number 16, Gabby Green. Number 17, Izzy Verdugo. Number 18, Maya Richters. Number 19, Arissa Mart. Number 20, Riley Howard. And number 23, Ashley Martinez. So a very, very strong lineup for the Badgers as well as for Penn State. It's Jennings, Dyke, Wiesner, Myers, Linehan. Wheeler, Hawking, Scheiman, Wilson, and in goal is Asman as usual. So very, very similar lineups to when they played each other a couple weeks ago. The only difference for Wisconsin is Emma Jaskinik, who was injured in this fixture at Penn State. And a big loss for the Badgers, of course, as we get things underway here, the Big Ten quarterfinal. Penn State playing it from the back. Scheiman across to Jennings. A center back partnership that has been so strong all year for Penn State. As they found themselves in the rankings a couple of times, they've fallen out of favor after a draw against Iowa on the final day. But have been so very, very strong for Penn State. Here is Scheiman again. Wheeler a heavy touch, taken away by Verdugo. Verdugo has it back for Wisconsin right away. Driving forward in the middle, Green lets it off. Riley Howard takes a shot from the edge of the area. Didn't get a hold of it and it sails wide. But you have to say, I mean, a good start for Wisconsin with pressure, Izzy Verdugo who provided the initial pressure, created the chance and Riley Howard had a good position to shoot, didn't quite catch it. Asman will play it short to Scheiman. On the outside, Isog with pressure. Now here come Penn State. Martinez gets there first. Howard has it for Wisconsin. Mart, who is playing as the striker for Wisconsin today, of course, has been in quite some form recently, Matt. Scheiman. Wheeler going to the middle, finding Wiesner, gets taken down, and here come Wisconsin the other way. Vigiano! Maybe a little further out than she normally likes to shoot from, but has scored a couple of goals from outside the box this season. Why not take a shot, especially this early in the game? Yeah, Vigiano had a nice opening right there. If she only dribbled a little bit further forward, she could have had a real shot on that. It was a little bit of an early miscue, but I get it. A lot of pressure there with two defenders from Penn State right on her tail. Yeah, you do think she maybe had the space, in fact, to take a few more touches forward and get into a more favorable position. However, maybe the nerves got to her. She took the shot. It wasn't too far off, but a shot is a shot, and Wisconsin would like to be in that position where they can just keep shooting and test the goalkeeper as they will try and control possession for the first time in their own half, but it's given away, and now Penn State the other way. Driving forward is Hawking. Gets taken down, and a free kick for Penn State early on in a very dangerous position. And it is not looking good for... Penelope Hawking, who is a massive pickup for Penn State. She played at USC, Southern California, and is their all-time leading goal scorer with 54 goals. So an enormous pickup for Penn State. She seems to be fine and will continue as Penn State have a free kick here and early on. And this could be a uh, tide changer here. So standing over it. Hawking being one of them, it looks like Dyke as well. It is Corey Dyke to the back post. McKinney grabs, falls on it. And Matt, we saw she didn't play in the second half against Nebraska, a possible injury. She went down earlier in the first half of that match. Good to see that she seems like that injury is not affecting her. Yeah, it was a great save right there by McKinney. Bit of a miscue there from the Badgers. I think that was Gabby Green and Lisa Verdugo getting a miscommunication there. Now Penn State has another opportunity. McConnell 
trying to contain, and Green will bail her out, but it is so tough to contain Ali Schlegel, who leads the team with 10 goals. So one of the most prolific strikers in the Big Ten in Penn State history as well. So that's gonna be one of the keys, is how can you contain Schlegel? So two very, very informed strikers on either side, Schlegel in blue and Mart in white. Both have their fair share of goals in past few games. Headed by Jennings. Martinez gets it away and now has an opening. Here's a Mart. Pushed off the ball. Dyke gets it away. Hawking in the midfield. Chips it up forward. A cushion header to find Schlegel. And here is Ali Schlegel. Cleared away by the freshman, Liv Curry. Vigiano goes back to Verdugo. And again, another miscue, this time by Verdugo, but in the same area, same sort of play there, this time between her and Howard. And again, Penn State will take a throw in Wisconsin's half. So standing over it, Ellie Wheeler, she throws it down the line to Schlegel. Across to Wiesner, Hawking swings it all the way across. Myers, now edge of the area is Penn State. Put towards goal, save, rebound, not cleared away, and now cleared away by Wisconsin. But a good chance from Penn State, but a save from McKinney. Great play there by McKinney, and great play there by Wisconsin's defense to clear that ball. Green, oh, another miscue in that corner. And now here come Penn State, the pass just a little bit out of the reach. Natalie Wilson, a bit too much on that, was looking for Wiesner. But Penn State taking advantage of these miscues from Wisconsin that are showing to be very common so far in this match in the opening several minutes. McKinney plays it short on the goal kick. Goes out for McConnell. McConnell tries to get it away, but it's stopped at the halfway line by Dyke. On the overlap was Linehan. And it goes all the way back for Scheiman. Jennings, the former captain of Boston College, playing in her first full season as a Nittany Lion. Played four years with Boston College. So another great pickup by Penn State. Their recruiting is something else in the Big Ten. Here is Schlegel. Wilson throws one into the area, headed away by Green. Still not out though. Good defensive play by Isog. Hockey. And Lenahan was looking down the line for Wilson, but couldn't find it. Wisconsin have a throw in their corner. And after Wisconsin had a couple of great chances in the opening couple of minutes, Penn State have been peppering their defense ever since. Wisconsin struggling to get the ball out of their half. And there's a miscue from Penn State, so Mart is gonna try and capitalize, but nicely done there to get it back was Myers. Wiesner across to Wilson, going down the line. Linehan into the box. Chance for Penn State, but it's lifted over by Penelope Hawking. Hawking with a great opportunity there, just kicked it a little too high there, and it went over the top crossbar. Pretty rough start for Penn State and for the Badgers here. It's 36 minutes so far left in this half. And that was a golden chance for the Nittany Lions. Penelope Hawking, who never seems to miss on opportunities like that, missed on one there. But here she is again, a shot from distance, took a couple of bounces and straight into the hands of McKinney. Now can Wisconsin control it and get it out of their half? Vigiano will go back to Curry. Curry a touch forward from center back. No one there, Scheiman will bring it down. Dyke the sliding challenge to get it across to Myers. 
Good pressure from Richters and a throw in for Penn State. We'll see if Wisconsin can try and hold Penn State into their own half here. Curry's pass cut off by Wilson. Myers. And we'll go all the way back to Shiner. Jennings. A long switch across to Myers. Lenahan looking for Wilson. It was cut off by Richters again. He'll take another throw. Schlegel, a nice touch, and she'll get it right back. Ali Schlegel in the middle. Laid off brilliantly. The shot is blocked by Verdugo. That's a great play by Izzy Verdugo to just clear that. It's going to be a corner kick now for Penn State, but just a great heads-up play by Verdugo. And what a build-up to that chance from Penn State. It just shows you their passing is unbelievable. They've shown it all year long. And those last few touches in the box, so crucial and worked very, very well. But again, Izzy Verdugo putting her body on the line and getting that block. In by Myers. The back heel is flicked on and over. And a good little chance there. A nice back heel, back to goal. And uh, an audacious effort there from Ellie Wheeler. And it looks like Wisconsin may do their short goal kick again. It didn't work too well against Nebraska as they give away possession again. But a nice play by Ashley Martinez. Brought down in some space. Vigiano brings it down with her chest. And it's pinballing in the midfield. Isog settles it down. Isog. To the middle, pass cut off by Dyke. Wilson has it. And swings it out wide to Wheeler. And again, Penn State will try and calm it down as Scheiman and Jennings play catch. Jennings pass given away, and here come Wisconsin. Arissa Mart, this is the player you want with the ball. Shot is blocked and then scooped up by Asman. Myers sending one long, looking for Schlegel. Chasing is McConnell. McConnell's going to try and shield this from Schlegel. Schlegel does so well there to take it away from McConnell, though. But then bailing her out of that was Green. Schlegel does not give up. That's the second time that she's been shielded away from the ball and somehow still ended up with it. One on either side of the field as well, either side of the box. And she is relentless but no surprise there. Jennings from the back. Mika Scheiman up forward. Myers has a lot of space, decides to take some. On the outside, Linehan. Her pass cut off, Isog, nice read from her. Curry's gonna have to get rid of it. Cut off by Dyke though. Mart, a nice turn. Gets it taken away though. Isog will try and settle it down for Wisconsin and Curry goes back to McKinney. Pressure coming. And it worked out in the end for Penn State. Kate Wiesner putting some good pressure on Gabby Green. Ended up getting a foot to it in the end, but again given away. Wilson. Scheiman. Launches one forward, headed away. 
Penn State play advantage, Schlegel, but the referee will bring it back. And Matt, of course, incidental, but didn't look ideal. It looked quite painful. Bit of a collision in the back of Natalie Wilson. Yeah, she was holding that left leg for a second. Appears like she got her leg kind of banged up in that collision there. So we'll monitor that situation as the game goes on. And you can tell she's feeling it, but in a match like this, a quarterfinal matchup, you cannot let these injuries get to you. And she's going to continue, of course, as tough as she is. And will be dropped back for Kate Wiesner to stand over this free kick. So a lot of numbers forward for Penn State, a lot of dangerous numbers forward for Penn State. Plays it across the dike. Dyke will put it into the box, looking for Scheiman on the one touch. And it's not often you see a center half get in on goal like that and take a one-time volley. But you can always count on Mika Scheiman to get that done. Schlegel looks for Wilson on the back heel and Gabby Green will make the play. Down the line, cut off by Martinez. Straight back in for Wiesner. Wiesner in the area, McKinney grabs it again and the communication from McKinney and Curry, McConnell as well, to make sure there was no confusion. And McKinney's done well there. Cut off by Scheiman. Here she is again. And across to Jennings, who played 75 of 90 minutes against Wisconsin last week. Of course, was the one involved in the injury with Emma Jaskinick but was able to uh, keep a clean sheet for Penn State. Her and Scheinman both getting the clean sheet against Wisconsin. It was a 3-0 loss. It was in University Park. And Jennings again. Dangerous pass, but able to get there was Wiesner, and here she is sending a long ball across looking for Linehan. Myers. Tried to play the through ball, no one there. McKinney will use her feet. And will probably scoop it up as she gets some pressure from Ali Schlegel. Pushing team forward. Might go with the drop kick here, as we see a lot in college soccer. She's going to roll it out instead. Schlegel's going to pressure. McKinney sends it up. Martinez just sends it forward. Vigiano's going to chase. Jennings is going to have to deal with it. Wisconsin looking to take advantage. Mart. Richters was looking for Vigiano, but Scheiman made the play. but a good capitalization on the miscue from Penn State. Verdugo. Does nicely one-on-one -on -one there to get away from Wiesner. Vigiana with Jennings on her back. Martinez boots it up forward again. Scheiman the header away. Lovely placed header from her. Jennings will send it up over the head of Hawking. Martinez will let it run, and Wisconsin will win a throw. So it is a back and forth game so far. Penn State, I would say, has been controlling most of the game. But in terms of chances, I would say it's almost even, slightly leaning towards Penn State. 
So it's just showing that Wisconsin's defense is doing extremely well containing Penn State. However, in the midfield and on the attacking front, it's been a little difficult for Wisconsin. Penn State doing well defensively as well, of course. Scheiman. Jennings, who does in fact have one goal from the center back position. Not a very common thing we see. That goal was at the end of last month against Illinois when they uh, absolutely destroyed them 5-0. Here is Hawking, ball over the top looking for Linehan, but over her. A little too much on that kick. It was a nice setup and concept, just the execution wasn't re really great. Definitely a good idea. But a little too much on that from Hawking. Needs to find her feet now. Curry sends it up. Jennings is gonna, gonna cut it off, but the clearance goes straight to Richters. On the outside for Vigiano. Vigiano, not a bad ball in. The problem is no one in white was contesting. And Vigiano, who doesn't normally put balls in like that, likes to attack going up the middle, going through the middle, but found herself on the wing and not a bad ball again, but again, no one there. Has been on the goal kick, likes to play it short. Shyman will send it up. Green takes it away, and still Green going into the corner and clearing it away. And there is a whistle, and Wisconsin will get the throw. That was a great read there by Green. And Green coming up the pitch as well to make that play. And she'll stand over this throw. Richters gets it back to Green. Miss cue from Green, she's gotta hurry back now, but Curry will calm things down, send it across to Verdugo. Bit of a dangerous ball, and Verdugo has done well one-on-one -on -one so far. Great ball, and a lovely touch by Howard to find Richters. Vigiano, and her pass is cut off. Looking for Martinez, but done well by Wiesner. Schlegel, given away, a collision, but we play on. Verdugo. Arissa Marta, heavy touch. She'll get it back though. Arissa Markets taken down trying to make the play and here come Penn State the other way. Hawking needs to deal with it. Going into the area and then sends it out wide. <laughs> Linehan finding Myers forward. Runs over, it gets taken away and she falls down but she wins a free kick. Fans of McClyman are not happy about that call there. No, they are Especially not. Especially since they were not happy about the no call on Mark getting shoved to the ground over the corner of the pitch, so. Yeah, a non-call and then a call that they didn't quite like in quick succession there. And Penn State will have the opportunity to reset. Richters. And a miscommunication between her and Vigiano and Howard also as well. McConnell with the header. Martinez lost the ball, but finds it and gets it up to Richters. Richters slides it across to Verdugo to create some more space here. Ball played forward, Vigiano chasing on her chest. And that went off of Scheiman. Did the referee see it? He did. So Vigiano wins a corner after Scheiman got the final touch. So a bit fortunate there for Wisconsin. And we will have a corner attempt for the Badgers. And it'll be Richters to take. She's got Martinez to play it short if she needs. Myers is there to cover, though. She does play it short to Martinez, who puts one toward to the back post. No one there. Goal kick. <laughs> and 
has been back to take the goal kick. One of the most important parts of this Penn State team. An attacking heavy team, but nonetheless, she's been very important between the sticks. She was named Big Ten's Goalkeeper of the Week twice this season as the redshirt senior sends it up. Martinez gets it back. Penn State wanted a handball, they're not gonna get it. Mart, cut off by Myers, nicely done, but here come Wisconsin still, Green, Vigiano. Verdugo, going to the outside. Izzy Verdugo wins another corner. Nicely done by Izzy Verdugo. Got some good defensive pressure from Wiesner and Wheeler. So we'll see if she decides to play it short again to Martinez or if she decides to just loft it into the box. Chose the ladder. And is it another corner? It is. So Richters will have another stab at it. A chance to put this one into the box. Decides to go short to Martinez this time. Martinez into the area to the back post again. Headed still in. Isog has it. Curry. Across to McConnell. Slammed it forward. Martinez with the header to save possession. McConnell, lovely ball across. Green, heavy touch and nicely shielded by Kate Wiesner. And that'll give an opportunity for Penn State to make that a substitution. That went for Penn State number 33, so Olivia Borgen. Olivia Borgen coming on and Natalie Wilson getting a rest. And the junior who has a goal and an assist this season, both her first career goal and first career assist in over 50 games played, has been pretty good on the right side, but she will have a seat for now and Borgen will fill in. Asman launches one forward over the head of Richters and Linehan. Myers with the header away. Isog the header forward. Here's Vigiano. Finding Mart. Mart bringing into the area. Great defensive play though and a free kick one. Maddie Myers does so well there. Has been signaling her team to push up forward on this free kick. Forward by Asman. Flicked on by Schlegel. Intercepted by Green, but gotten right back by Linehan. Dyke. Across to Wheeler. Scheiman. Across to Myers, back to Scheiman. Curry wins the header. Second header won by Wisconsin as well. A heavy touch from Riley Howard, and it was taken away from Arissa Martin. Penn State have it back. Jill Jennings taking it up. Looking for Schlegel. Taken away by Martinez. Verdugo. Pressuring is Wiesner, but getting across was McConnell to find Curry. And the through ball attempt, no one there. Martinez looking to get their second. She does get their second indeed, and that will be a foul. It could be a yellow card, and it will be so. Ashley Martinez goes into the book for her second yellow card of the season. And just a little late there. 
you kind of knew that Penn State was going to get there first anyway. And Martinez with a sliding challenge, nowhere near the ball. Ball was already far gone. So of course, you know, you're going to get called for a yellow card every time. Wisconsin get it right back. Vigiano, a heavy touch. Still ends up away with it. Gets it back from Mart. Cut off just barely, but nicely from Hawking as she'll get it back. Tried an outside the foot. And it's let run by McConnell. So substitution each. Getting ready to come on for Penn State. It's Amelia White, who has yet to score a goal this season, but does have a quad of assists. And for Wisconsin, it is the aerial presence of Claire Odemark. Scheiman gets a touch to it. Mart with the sliding challenge, comes away with it. Turning nicely. Arissa Mark cutting inside, but a heavy touch. And she is feeling it today as she has been the last few weeks but a dangerous ball it's intercepted by Penn State and here is Penelope Hawking a one on two Hawking into the area Wiesner slides it across Borgen cuts inside great defensive play by the freshman Liv Curry does so well there, it hits the referee. Wisconsin will get the free kick or the drop ball. Referee saw the insane back and forth that was going on by Wisconsin's box and said, let me get in on the action. He wanted to get in there. Got a little too excited. Wisconsin have it. Lovely one-two played by Riley Howard to Izzy Verdugo. And they'll move the ball back. And it looks like Wisconsin get a free kick here. So Riley Howard was tugged a little bit from behind while he's playing that one, too. Wins a free kick in the process. So joining Amelia White on the sideline is Caitlin McBean. So it looks like Erica Dambach is ready to make a double substitution. Mart, Scheiman wins the header, though. Sent across, under the foot of Isag. And it goes the other way. Verdugo back to get it for Wisconsin. Hawking is chasing. Ball still in. Martinez took a deflection off of Borgen and out for a Wisconsin throw. And now it'll give a chance for the substitution. So Odemark in, Howard out. And for Penn State, Amelia White, as well as Caitlin McBean four, in. And coming out, getting the rest, Allie Schlegel, who I'm most certain is going to come back on in just a few moments. And Peyton Linehan, the other Nittany Lion, getting the rest. And it seems like she's just getting pulled out for a second to get some instruction from Coach Dombach. Martin, nice touch forward. What can Vigiano do with it? Slipping. And a chance for Wisconsin. Mart has a lot of space. Heavy ball played forward. And I guess a handball is called against Wisconsin. And Arissa Mart just putting a little too much on that ball forward. And what would have been a very good chance for Wisconsin turns into a free kick the other way. Jennings forward, brought down by Borgen. Dyke a heavy touch, Odemark turning. Lays it off for Richters, but a heavy touch. Verdugo does well to stand up Wiesner. Wiesner not quitting though, Verdugo with the better of it. Mart puts it in the area, straight to the head of a Nittany Lion. And Myers doing well to step in front of that. Green, but cutting that off is white. Yeah. 
Nice bit of skill by Vigiano on the byline, kept it in. Shielding it away from Scheiman and wins a throw. And it looks like they're gonna go with the signature long throw from Claire Odemark. And there it is, into the box. Headed away by Myers, but not clear. Isog. Green goes back with it. Curry, who's starting to feel herself a bit more now, is in the beginning. She was looking a little shaky, of course, the freshman playing in her first Big Ten tournament match, but looking uh, a lot more comfortable now. Here comes Wisconsin out the back. McConnell launches one forward. Got to be an over the back foul, indeed it is. And that's sort of the only way you can stop Claire Odemark with her size. But it's going to be costly for Jill Jennings and Penn State as Wisconsin have a free kick. You've got Vigiano, who of course can hit it from here. Verdugo can put one in. Arissa Mart as well. The last time. Natalie Vigiano took a free kick in this area. It was blocked by the wall. This was on senior day against Minnesota a few weeks ago. It looks a little too far to take a shot from here, but we will see. Natalie Vigiano has a lot of tricks up her sleeve. Martinez joining Mart to stand over this ball. It is Natalie Vigiano sailing just wide. And now the substitutions will be brought on for Penn State. It's Olivia Smith coming on. Now in for Rachel Wasserman number coming on. Eddie Bauer. And another striker for Wisconsin coming in on. It's Penn Addie State, Bauer. Nine, so we're going with the front Wasserman three now. They've got Addie 11, Bauer on the Olivia left. Smith. Marissa Mart on the right now. And of course the central forward, Claire Odemark. But what a chance by Natalie Vigiano. Oh, brought down nicely there by Olivia Smith on her first contribution of the evening. And a good defensive play in the end by Wisconsin. Verdugo. Got by one, but not the other. And then poked away by Olivia Smith, who has only just come on now, but is already getting involved in more than a couple of plays. Odemark brings it down, it's kept in. Scheiman chasing. Bower getting some pressure. Scheiman goes back to Asman. Oh, dangerous ball in the middle, cut off by Odemark. Swung across by Verdugo, but it's cut off by Amelia White. Look at the speed of Amelia White driving forward into the area. Amelia White blocked by McConnell. And as Wisconsin were putting all the pressure on Penn State, it just took one counter attack for Amelia White to break into the box with so much speed. But in the end, Aiden McConnell stopping her up. And Penn State have a throw, just narrowly escaped from giving away a corner there, Wisconsin. Taken away by Bower, her first contribution of the evening. Bower driving forward, White chasing, and White again with a good defensive play. And both Whites getting it done defensively. Amelia and Olivia. Oh, 
Odemark throws it in. Looks to get it right back. Cleared away. Bower dispossessed and then taken down was Olivia Smith. A little tangle between her and Addie Bower. And it looks like she's feeling this. I'm not sure if she's just fixing her boot or if she's truly hurt here. And Olivia Smith, of course, since coming on has been very, very active, the Canadian who played some time with the Canadian women's national team. She was the youngest player to ever play for the Canadian national team. She was only 15. And she gets right back up and it's resumed from the back for Penn State. Verdugo with the header, cut off by Borgen. It falls for White. White in the area, scooped up by McKinnon. And Amelia White finding herself in some great positions here on that right side. Bower goes off of her last. And a throw in for Penn State and another substitution Center for them Penn as State well. So coming Alonso. off, Jill Jennings and coming on for Penn State is the only player from, Pe uh, from Spain in Penn State women's soccer history. Eva Alonso from the capital Madrid will have a place in the back line now. Wisconsin needs to get it clear, they can't. Borgen. Scheiman who switched places is now on the left side as Alonzo will be more central and Myers will stay on the right. McConnell's just gonna send it up, hoping for a chase from Odemark. And Odemark is chasing. Vigiano finds Odemark just outside the area and she'll win a throw. Odemark and Vigiano have been doing very well this game to combine. A lot of great passes between them, and now we're gonna see the long throw from Claire Odemark into the area. Flicked on by Martinez. And not quite cleared away. A little bit too much time on that from McBean, but she has it back now. Getting around Verdugo and then going back with it. And putting her body in front of that was Arissa Mart to stop that chance from Wasserman. Alonzo. Vigiano takes it back and finds Green on the outside. Bower the touch with Green and Green gives away possession and Penn State have a throw. As we approach just around the three minute mark of this first half, still no score. And a little push on Curry, but nothing intentional from Caitlin McBean as she helps her back to her feet. And it looks like in the final few minutes, we're gonna have Riley Philbin come on for Wisconsin, who's been very good whenever she comes off the bench. We'll see if Wilkins decides to make that substitution. Martinez sailing wide. And now Philbin comes on. So Ashley Martinez, who scored her first career goal against Nebraska last match here at McClyman, was the goal that tied the game up. Almost scores her second career goal in back-to-back -back games. 
from an awkward area, but very, very close, just sailing wide. Wheeler. Wasserman. Forward to Olivia Smith. Look at Olivia Smith into the area. Cutting around, Olivia Smith, and then cut off by Curry. Verdugo gets her cut in blocked by Olivia Borgen. And Wisconsin win a throw. Verdugo's just gonna send it away. Headed forward by Alonzo. Martinez is gonna bring it down. Martinez's pass is blocked by Borgen and here come Penn State back with it. Corey Dyke sends it across. Wheeler forward for Wasserman, Wheeler gets it back. Isog. Curry across. Green sends it forward. Nice header by Myers though, to stop that from One minute to forward. play, one minute. Final minute of the first half here. Driving up forward with it is Wheeler. Cut off by Martinez and then off the foot of Rachel Wasserman and out of play. So Rachel Wasserman who came on as a sub has not started a game at all this season but has made an appearance in all 17 of Penn State's matches. As Penn State will take a throw in their own half. No hurry to get it up the field as there's only 30 seconds left. And they do not want to risk a turnover here. They just need to get it out of the zone. And Amelia White gets her attempt cleared away. So Wisconsin have a throw. 10, 9, And then eight, no rush as well. Seven, Wisconsin. Six, so five, four, the clock three, is going to wind down. Two, Wasserman's going to kill one. it. And Zero. that is going to do it for the first half of the Big Ten quarterfinal here in Madison. It's been back and forth, but no team has found the back of the net just yet. We'll be right back. It's Wisconsin 0, Penn State, Madison, Wisconsin. Aiden Michaels, Matt Blaustein. The final 45 minutes. And it could be the final 45 minutes for some of these players in their college careers. The score is 0-0. One more half to play and we look for a winner. Wisconsin getting things started off. Martinez is gonna send it all the way back for Asman to scoop up. Matt, what can we expect from either side going into the second half? Yeah, I think we're gonna see a lot more offensive pushes. I think the issue was that last half, there was a lot of stifling when they got towards the box. I think Wisconsin's gotta get a little more consistent with passing the ball closer in the box and just getting some more openings available. And Penn State's just really gotta put some more pressure on offense in general. Uh, last half, they didn't really uh, utilize a lot of offensive firepower, and I expect that to get, increase. And both teams not going overly aggressive in the first half, because we know one costly mistake can lead to a goal, and this, of course, the most important match of the year. Every match it becomes more and more important, and now here comes Hawking with a heavy touch forward, and then cleared away. So it will be interesting to see the level of aggression coming from both of these sides. Are they going to stick with the more defensive approach? Will you go with the attacking approach? That's what we're about to see as that one will go all the way out for a Wisconsin throw. So almost the same lineup for Wisconsin as it was left in the first half. The only change, Riley Howard coming back on, Addie Bower coming off. As Wisconsin will win a goal kick after a defensive play made by Gabby Green, who came off earlier in the uh, Nebraska match in the first half with an injury. That doesn't look to be affecting her too much as she's been playing the whole game so far this evening. As Arissa Mart's aggressive play 
gets her called for the second half, first free kick. So for Penn State, Ali Schlegel finding her way back on the field as she was taken off late in the first half. Of course, we mentioned the 10 goals from her this season. Tied for most in the Big Ten. Another player with 10 goals, Wisconsin's Emma Jaskinick. Finds herself third in the Big Ten in points with 22. Just two behind 24 of Emma Jaskinick's league lead. So Schlegel clearly one of the Big Ten's best players. Penn State not happy with that. They get the free kick, but a little bit of extracurricular activity after the call. So a free kick inside the center circle for Penn State. Standing over it is Scheiman. Scheiman lifts one forward, flicked on by Borgen, and she'll get called for a foul. Martinez draws it, and Wisconsin will have a free kick now going the other way. Pinballed in the midfield, and Penn State have a free kick. And it's been a bit choppy to open up the second half here in Madison. No team has been able to get full control of the ball as Penn State will play it from the back as they look to do so. Myers on the outside. Coming across was Curry. Penn State have a throw. They're gonna try and play it quick. Borgen throwing it in to Linehan. Hawking in the corner, one-on-one -on -one with Curry. Hawking to her right foot. Curry makes the play, ball is still in. I'm not sure Green knows it. And then finally kicked out, and it goes out for a corner kick. Bit of a, an interesting bit of play there as Curry, Hawking, and Green all fell down, and Green was sort of just laying there thinking it went out, but it did not. So the result of that is a corner for Penn State, the first of the half. Whipped in by Wiesner over the head of Scheiman. Borgen looking to keep it in, she does. It goes out of play, the signal from the referee on the far side. He signals a goal kick for the Badgers. McKinney plays it quick. Sent up by McConnell, headed down by Scheiman for Penn State. Linehan. Green stepping in front, but it doesn't get clear. Here's Penelope Hawking into the area as Penn State towards goals, scooped up by McKinney. Schlegel there on the rebound, but nothing is spilled from Aaron. Richters, her first touch of the second half. No one wins that header. It goes through the heads of Vigiano and Dyke. McKinney has it in the back line. He sends it over to her center back, Aiden McConnell. Penn State continuing with their good pressure, keeping Wisconsin out of possession as they win a throw in here again. And we're already seeing what we saw a lot of in the first half, which is Wisconsin struggling a bit to get it out of their half, and once they do, to maintain possession and sole control, as they look to do it here. So far done nicely, Isog. Verdugo. Dyke will let it run and then 
send it up forward. Martinez wins the header though. Schlegel chasing a 50-50, won by Richters of Wisconsin. A little shaken up after that play. Penn State have a throw and Richters is really feeling that on her left leg. She looks good to go though. But by the look of her face, you can tell she is in some pain. Bit of a wonky throw and then off the foot of Hawking, so Wisconsin will get it right back on the throw. As we see in the blue bib on the sideline, Claire Odemark stretching, getting up, getting ready to go. McConnell, cut off by Alonzo, and into the middle for Borgen. And a nice attempt from the Wisconsin coaches, all four of them pointing their way, but clearly going off of Martinez last. Down the line to Schlegel. Wins another throw higher up the field. Myers towards goal. It could be an awkward one. Has to be careful. We remember what happened in the Nebraska game where it took an awkward bounce over McKinney. Less than a minute into the match is when they conceded their only goal last Sunday. But McKinney's learned from her mistakes and makes no mistake there. Kept in by Wisconsin. Scheiman has it for Penn State though. Forward, Green deals with the awkward bouncer. And gets it across to Verdugo who's gonna try and get it clear. Verdugo, a nice play again. Given right back away though. Here is Hawking. Can't keep it in, Wisconsin win a throw. And that'll give Wisconsin a chance now in for to bring Wisconsin on Claire Odemark. Claire Odemark. And it is Maya Richters that comes off. And after the slight injury that she felt, will take a seat. And I think that substitution probably would have been made regardless. But this is a good rest for Maya Richters as Odemark gets her first contribution of the second half. Scheiman boots it forward. Isog with the header. The second header from Vigiana. Scheiman cuts it off. And McConnell will just send it up and out. Scheiman with yet another header. But a heavy touch, and here come Wisconsin. Howard finding Mart. Arissa Mart towards goal. And it's scooped up by Asman, but. We've seen these two combine a lot of times this season, Riley Howard and Arissa Mart. Of course, Arissa Mart, the goal machine. Nearly combining for another one there. Penn State playing well here, but then a heavy touch and on the ground is Peyton Linehan. Slow to get up and still hasn't gotten up on her knees now. Played a wonderful one-two, so she's trying to say, oh, why didn't you give me the free kick? The referee saying, I played advantage. You guys had the ball. The reason why Penn State lost the ball is because of a Wisconsin defensive play about five or six seconds after the free kick. And I think it's just gonna be, if I could guess here, drop ball. As Peyton Linehan seems to be fine now. And it will be a drop ball. So Wisconsin will have it back in the corner, give everyone a rest. And Green ends up slipping on the play. Almost works out though as Vigiano heads it across to Martinez and it does work out. Martinez shoving away from Borgen. Vigiano shot is blocked. Didn't have much power on it anyway. This could be dangerous for Penn State now. Hawking with a touch over Curry but not away from Verdugo. McConnell's just gonna send it clear. Brought down nicely by Odemark, as she always does. Arissa Mart now, in a place she really wants to be at. Arissa Mart, touch forward, Vigiano, looking back for Arissa Mart, almost there. Just barely. 
And Vigiano, one of the best passers on Wisconsin, a great ball. And almost got to Arissa Mart, who surely would have scored from there. Good touch forward by Penn State. And here they come on the attack. Borgen, Linehan, nice touch forward. Linehan driving towards goal, but it's poked away by McConnell. Linehan's trying to get it back, and she will, but she might let it run and take a throw instead. So Linehan's gonna drop it off to get a much further throw into the box by Maddie Myers. Myers is gonna put it towards goal on the cross. Vigiano has to deal with it, bit of a miss kick. And Myers lets it run again. So yet another throw for the Nittany Lions. Myers down the line, finds Linehan. Trapped in the corner, somehow gets it clear to Schlegel. Schlegel puts it in the box, has to get it away. That could be a penalty. The referee says no, that would be a massive decision. And it looks like, it looked like she was clipped into the box, but the referee having absolutely none of that. But that could have gone either way. And that was one point to the spot away from McClyman's first penalty kick of the year. Oh, miscommunication from Wisconsin. Penn State keen to take advantage of that. Wheeler forward, Borgen in the middle. Isog pressuring, Borgen still with it, and picks out Hawking in the midfield. Chasing is Martinez, Linehan for Penn State. Gotta keep her on her right here, and they do. Scheiman, the center back, plays a nice ball to Schlick. Can't quite get it clear, and the shot straight into the hands of McKinney as Schlegel Never got a true hold to it, but good bit of offensive piece of skill there by Mika Scheiman, the Berlin native, Berlin, Germany that is. And one of the most skilled center backs in the Big Ten in terms of offensive skill. Not many times you see a center back pull off a move like that. And she's already shown us that she can do that a couple times this match. Mart is chasing. She will get there first. Arissa Mart, all eyes on her. A touch away from Myers. And somehow, Mart gets called for the foul. Now, Wisconsin fans do think that was a foul against Maddie Myers. I personally thought that it wasn't a foul on anybody, but the referee thought it was against Arissa Mart. So I suppose it's just one of those. So a bit of a break there, as that could have turned into something for the Badgers. Isog wins the header, but it falls into the grasp of Kate Wiesner. McKinney's gonna get there before Peyton Linehan, but that was a little too close for comfort there as Linehan came all the way across to put a lot of pressure on Aaron McKinney. Howard keeps it in. Verdugo has to clear. Alonzo. Goes back to Myers. Myers, who's been rock solid, one of the most physical players on Penn State. Four yellow cards, though, so sometimes that physical play can be costly. And look at the speed driving in. Penn State have it just outside the area. Linehan drops it off, but Wisconsin cut it off. 
Odemark wins the header. But back into the possession of Penn State, and they'll go all the way back to Scheiman. Borgen swings it across, miscue from her. Out of the reach of Myers, who's not happy with that, and I understand why. But instead of a quick throw, a substitution will be made for Wisconsin. So it's Maya Richter's coming back on, so clear to see that injury didn't affect her as much as it may have seemed. So she'll come on for Riley Howard. Arissa Mart's gonna shift over to the right side as Richter's will go back to her familiar left side. And then of course, Amelia White coming on for Penn State, another player who was very, very good offensively in the first half for Penn State as Wisconsin win another throw further up the pitch. So a couple of smart substitutions made both by Wilkins and Dombach, who is the third coach in Penn State history. The coach before her at Penn State, Paula Wilkins. Long throw by Odemark. Borgen flicks it away and it's a corner kick for the Badgers, so putting that long throw into good use. Didn't create a chance, but it did win them a corner. So the first one was short to Martinez, the third one was short to Martinez, and the fourth one here. Martinez towards the goal, ball is loose. Penn State will come away with it, a lovely flick over the head of Verdugo by Peyton Linehan. Borgen chasing just away from her reach. But what a dangerous counter-attacking player Peyton Linehan is. Has a lot of experience with the U.S. women's national team. U15, U16, U17, all the way up to U21. So she's trained with some of the best of the best of women in our country. And showing her experience today. Amelia White, forward to Borgen, it's taken away. Amelia White gets the last touch. And Wisconsin will take a throw. We look at the sideline again, and it's Natalie Wilson who started as a fullback. This match will come back on. Question is for who? Richters, and that's a handball, just ran by it. And joining Wilson on the sideline for a sub would be Olivia Smith, the Canadian, another big piece in Penn State's lineup. And it seems like every substitution they bring on is a massive piece of their team. They're a very rotational team. A lot of players getting playing time, and a lot of them doing well. McConnell with the header clear. White, the header to bring it down. Does nicely there, White going central. No one there as she swings it across. Mart takes it instead. Vigiano making the run. She's going to want it from Arissa Mart. Alonzo cuts that off. And now Penn State try a long ball of their own. Linehan brings it down beautifully. Peyton Linehan cutting inside. Twists and turns. Gets taken down, but no call. Odemark tried to play it forward to Mart. And she does. A little unconventionally. Mart spots the switch but it goes through Vigiano and through Richters. So a bit of a miscue there from Marissa Mart, and that'll bring on the substitution. So Olivia Borgen coming off, as well as Peyton Linehan, who's, or excuse me, she's not coming off, I'm sorry, it was uh, Penelope Hawking. He finally gets her rest. And here is the new substitution, Olivia Smith, sending it across to the other one, Natalie Wilson. Penn State driving forward. Amelia White didn't get the last touch on it. It was off of Wisconsin last. So, a corner kick for the Nittany Lions. With 23 minutes to go in the second half and the most important match of the season as we keep having to emphasize all game long. The winner of this match would play number two, Northwestern, who beat Rutgers earlier on. Corner kick whipped in, it's a low one and hits the side of the goal, so a 
goal kick for Wisconsin. Penn State, a lot of experience in this tournament. They are the most successful Big Ten team in women's soccer tournament history. They've won it eight times. The team with the second most number of wins, Wisconsin a part of that group, just three. So Penn State extremely dominant. Their last win in 2019, it was a double overtime winner against Michigan at Yurok Field, which is home of uh, Rutgers. Wilson wins it back for Penn State, gets by Schlegel. And Wisconsin win a free kick and standing over that to stop anything quick was Amelia White. So that'll force Wisconsin to bring that back. Lovely pick out to find Green. Stepping away from Linehan. Going to the middle to Esau who swings it across. Verdugo in a lot of space. Verdugo down the line. Vigiano getting around Scheiman or trying to at least. Scheiman gets the better of her. Good take there by White. White with speed on the counterattack. Here come Penn State. White driving forward. Sends it across. Here is Schlegel. And wide and Wisconsin fans can take a deep breath. As we know, any touch from Ali Schlegel inside the box is that of a dangerous one. So a bit of a let up there for Wisconsin. Hasn't found the frame of the goal as much as she'd hoped, as much as we all anticipated going into this, Ali Schlegel, as Wisconsin win a throw. Over the head of Oldmark, not sure if she got a touch, but Penn State have it back anyway. Myers kept in by Linehan. Putting herself in front of that was Vigiano. Penn State take the throw. As they look to make another substitution, Rachel Wasserman going to the scorer's table. About to check in here. Here come Penn State now. On the line is White. Verdugo pressuring White, finding Wilson back to White on the left side. White, lovely move, takes a shot towards goal and scooped up by McKinney and some good pressure again by Schlegel just in case there was a spill, but McKinney's been pretty perfect when it comes to getting a hold of those rebounds. And only rarely has she made some of those miscues this season. Usually has the safe hands. Marissa Mart somehow still with the ball. What a ball forward. Wisconsin have an opportunity, rounds the keeper, and it's off the line. Still not clear, and now cleared. And that is a very bad looking injury there that the play is gonna keep going, but that does not look good at all. I think that might be Maddie Myers who made the goal line clearance, but then absolutely Clashed into the post, and the yeah, referee the, is the referee is already waving over the med team. That's it, not good. It's not good, and it's a wonderful play, of course. Phenomenal play, but good Oof. lord, we're gonna have a probably an extended stoppage of play. She hasn't really even moved since she hit it, so that is not good. And you can see the players now going over to their respective benches, and this does not look good.
So that is good news. She is up and walking on her own. Just a terrible thing to see and we hope she is okay. She does look a lot better. And we're gonna have to restart play, but a terrible looking injury, but without her it would be one nil Wisconsin. So a bit of a hero for Penn State as she walks off the pitch and we'll get some more medical attention. But enormous props to her for making that play. Someone who's been so good for Penn State all game long, all season long. Maddie Myers, what an unbelievable play now to keep for this Penn State number nine, Rachel Wasserman. at 0-0. Zero, zero. And it is a good sight to see that she is up and walking. So after that long stoppage of play, we approach the final 20 minutes of the match. Still knotted at nil-nil. And now maybe some extra motivation for Penn State. Scheiman driving forward dangerously. Wilson, White wants it. She will get it. Maybe not on the same page as Natalie Wilson, though, is Verdugo's going to shield, who's done very well, as she always does, offensively and defensively. And the versatile playing style of uh, Izzy Verdugo has been one of Wisconsin's strong points against Penn State. Scheiman wins the header over Odemark. And a collision, a late collision from Maddie Esog and that's interesting I uh, that was a 50-50 uh, ball and Wilson got the worst of it so it's a free kick for Penn State but Esog not happy with that so we restart again Penn State will have possession lifted into the box Verdugo the header away and then again cleared away this time by Vigiana. Scheiman's header goes straight to Odemark. Arissa Mart entering the area, numbers forward for Wisconsin, putting it into the box, took a deflection! And Asman got across, and it's a corner kick for Wisconsin. And how close was that? Arissa Mart finding herself in a dangerous area, was looking for Vigiano. A last touch nearly put it in to Penn State's goal as an own goal. But Asman was able to get there in the end. So Wisconsin on the corner. 
in by Martinez. Odemark tried to get the header, but Scheinman got there first. Back into the box, and Asman scoops it up, and Penn State can breathe. That was a great corner kick in, but great job by Penn State to maximize on that and make sure that there was no goal going in there, keeping it nil-nil. 17 minutes left in this match. And Wisconsin, a couple of great chances in the last five minutes of play. One of them that seemed like a sure goal. The other one would have been a fluke, but a goal nonetheless. But again, Penn State's defense coming up strong. Wheeler goes back to Alonzo, who's swinging across to Scheiman. So three of these Penn State players have experience with their national teams, excluding the uh, U.S. women's national team players. There's three of them alone on Penn State, but there's some Canadian national team experience, some German national team experience, and even some Spanish national team experience. So Penn State have a corner. Standing over at Olivia Smith, who just has one assist this season. It was against Maryland on the 9th of October. That was her first career assist. A low corner again, out of the area. Scheiman took a deflection, Schlegel! It's her, it's always her. And again, she scores her 11th goal of the season. Shouts of offside, but that goal could be the goal that sends Penn State to the semifinal. With just over 15 minutes on the clock, Penn State, the most important goal, and from who else but Ali Schlegel. And the Nittany Lions have taken the lead. And that is so unfortunate if you're a Wisconsin because that just trickled by the defense. And now again we see Gabby Green limping off here. Penn State goal scored by number 34, Ali Schlegel. And again, the only times we've ever seen Gabby Green come off is with an injury. It's the third Lisa time of the season Simon. and it's in back-to-back -back games. And you could just tell that she was playing through an injury ever since that initial one. Now in for Wisconsin. So uh, big mountain to climb now for Wisconsin. It's just one goal, but it's going to take a lot to get one. Absolutely. No longer scoreless and 15 minutes left. There is some time here. And the good thing is it's only a one score deficit. So they do have the availability, but it's, it's going to be a little bit tough here. It just takes one shot and it's a game changer. Odemark goes down on her own, no free kick. And Penn State not giving up here, Schlegel. Good read there by Verdugo. Can she make something out of that? Finding Arissa Mart. Looking for Odemark, cleared away. Howard in some space. Riley Howard took a shot, but it was deflected and then cleared away. Martinez and her attempt for Odemark is gonna sail out of play and a goal kick for Penn State. And look at the flurry of substitutions making their way on now for Penn State. Looks like it could be four substitutions. And look who's back on, it's Maddie Myers. That is incredible. Now in for Penn State number 10, Maddie Myers joined by number 12. Caitlin Linehan, and number 14, Caitlin McBean. So no new appearances for Penn State. But a lot of substitutions right after that goal. Wisconsin needs to put all on the line here. You've only got you know, under 15 minutes left in what could be your season finale and maybe even career finale.
McConnell will win a throw. Pickpocketed there by Linehan. Curry gets it back though. Myers. And Curry gets called for that foul. Interesting decision, but very good for Penn State. Find themselves in a great position once again with this free kick. And at this point, I think you gotta throw this on goal if you're Penn State. Three players standing over it. And in the end, it looks like it'll be Penelope Hawking, possibly Corey Dyke on the left foot. In by Hawking, the header saved by McKinney. And rolls it out. And look at Myers coming across to cut that off. Lovely play from her. She's looking healthy as ever after that fall she took. And wins a throw. What a play by Maddie Ma Myers. You saw her run all the way from her own half to cut that off. Reading now in for perfectly. Penn State number 19, Cassandra Hyatt. Cassandra Enters Hyatt. The game for Wisconsin number 16, for Gabby Penn State. Green. Has just one assist this season. It was in non-conference play all the way back in August at the beginning of the year season. And here she is, Linehan, keeping it in, puts it towards goal, headed away, but not fully cleared, and now it is. Bounces over Myers, but she got the slightest of touches to it. And Scheiman from the back. Given away, but straight out of play. So Wisconsin give up a throw in in Penn State's half. And Peyton Linehan will take it. Myers screaming for it and she gets it. Making the run is Linehan, can she keep it in? She can, towards goal, header clear. That was a great setup there by Linehan, but McBeans just wasn't able to get there to capitalize on it. Verdugo doing well there though, was Wilson to provide some pressure and Verdugo sends it out of play. As we approach the 10 minute mark now, time is running out for Wisconsin. Penn State in a good position here. Verdugo. Across to Isog. And all the way back. Launched forward, Mark. Brings it down, but a heavy touch sends it out of play. Penn State have a throw. Throwing down the line, cut off by Verdugo. And up by Wilson, headed back down by McConnell. Into some space. Linehan keeps it in on the right side. Taking her time. Tries some fancy move and it works in terms of the fact that she gets a throw rather than getting by Richter's, but. That could go either way, it goes to Wisconsin. So Claire Odmar coming on, Riley Howard coming off. 
A little quick substitution from Wisconsin. The time is running down. Now in for Wisconsin, number 34, Claire Oatmark. Entering for Penn State, number nine, Rachel Wasserman. And Martinez, a miscue, results in a throw in for Penn State. Who did that go off of last? It's a corner kick off of Wisconsin last. Quickly played. Linehan on the overlap, finds Wiesner, puts it toward goal. Penn State looking for a second, ball is loose. And a free kick against Penn State. That was great effort there from McKinney. Make that save, also just staying in that box there to make sure that there wasn't a free lane for Penn State to get that in, so good job for her. And that one's gonna go all the way down, a throw in for Penn State down the line. And Wilson has some space here. She's just gonna send it into the corner. McKinney is gonna chase. And brings it back into the box. Switched, but headed away by Myers. Martinez turning, finding Mark. We've seen some late magic from her a couple times this season. Is there time for one more moment of magic? Shot towards goal and scooped up by Asman. That was a good shot there from Wisconsin, but Asman's just able to get that save pretty easy. I think it's a good shot attempt from Wisconsin. You do have to just take these shots rather than making the extra pass. At this point, just try and get it on goal. You never know what can happen. But Catherine Asman has been perfect when it comes to that. Mark. A nice move from her. She's gonna try and get something going. Vigiano keeps it in on the byline. Isog tried to put it into the box, it's blocked. Isog at the edge of the area, in the middle. Martinez, Wisconsin still with it. Ball towards goal, took a deflection! And sailed wide. So it's a corner for Wisconsin. Fans on their feet, they are loud here at McClyman with 5.45 to go. Season on the line, five minutes to save themselves. Ball put in towards the goal, punched away. Not quite cleared, Verdugo. That went off of a Penn State player last, Verdugo a quick throw. Has to be careful not to give up a free kick. Oldmark does well. Oh, heavy touch. Can she recover? She does, but gets called for a foul, and that is very, very costly from Gabby Green. The heavy touch forced her to make a last-ditch tackle, and she was called for it. Not what you want to see if you're Wisconsin, but if you're Penn State, that is a huge sigh of relief. Curry wins a goal kick. And now a substitution for Penn State. So L. Kirshner looking to make her way onto the field in just a moment. As well as Devin Olive. So two players that have not found their way on so far in this game, both now following away on State, now. Number 15, Devin Olive, joined by number 24, L. Kirshner. <laughs> Wisconsin win a free kick. Martinez would like to play it quick, she does. Looking for Odmark. Odmark brings it down and then gets it's scooped away by Wasserman. Odemark wins it back, can she keep it in? She does for a second, but then it goes out of play, so Penn State will have 
the throw, and now there's a, a cramp in the area. It's Mika Scheiman. Normally you would see that in the professional leagues, at least where the time doesn't stop, that you see a lot of players going down for cramps to waste some time here. This is not the case as the clock does stop. In fact, they add four seconds onto the clock. Wisconsin win it right back. Martinez swinging it across. Richter's in space. Curry finds Mart. Marissa Mart swings it across. Almost a miss kick. Verdugo does well to get it back, but then Penn State take full advantage. And Wisconsin losing a bit of focus here as it's clobbered forward. Scheinman's going to have to deal with it. And she does. Wisconsin have a throw. Nicely done by Vigiano. Driving forward. Sends it across. Penn State got across and made the play. Wilson has to get rid. She does. Did it take a deflection? It did as we approach the three minute mark just about. Penn State so close. Wisconsin back with it. See if they can mount an attack here. Away by Scheiman. Brought down by Vigiano and out of play. Penn State another throw. Martinez with her head, bringing it down. Gets taken down and wins a free kick. Numbers forward, they decide not to play it quick. Get as many numbers as possible forward. Even McKinney getting up a little higher. Wasserman trying to shield it. Odmar trying to get there first. They have the ball anyway. It's a throw for Wisconsin. Two minutes on the clock. Curry into the box, headed away. Martinez brings it down, shields it, looks to switch. Ball is given away. McConnell. Approaching the final 90 seconds now. Brought down by Odemark. Takes a stab at it and it goes out for a goal kick as the clock will continue to wind down. One minute to play, one minute. Final minute, desperation for Wisconsin. Green sends it up, flicked on to Mart, headed away by Scheiman, up by Martinez. Now they're just kicking it. 40 seconds to go. Chance for one final attack for the Badgers to save their season. Odemark up in the air, headed away. Under 30 seconds to go now, still in the half. You can see McKinney trailing, maybe coming up in a second. Scheiman the header way again. And that's cleared. 10 seconds Ten, to go now. Nine, Forward. Eight, seven, can Mark keep it in six, for the season? Five, she four, cannot. Three, two, so blue one, is the color zero. in Madison tonight. It's Penn State that advanced to yet another Big Ten Tournament semifinal. It's heartbreak for Wisconsin at home. Thanks for tuning in.